do you know what is the purpose of education study learning what is the purpose have you heard this word ah kurang aja ah hokkien say bo ta che bo ka si what does it mean today many people very high educated ah but they do not know how to behave they still kurang aja Today I want to talk about education. Ah, we all gone through education in my early days. In our early days, maybe some people here white hair also still got never ending study, lah. Right? We like to study. But my question is, do you know what is the purpose of all this education, study, learning? What is the purpose? Anybody? Here, I think ah, uh, more than half you are university or higher education graduate, you know, because this parish I think is quite okay one ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know what is the purpose of education or not? Huh? How to think? How to think? To gain knowledge. To gain knowledge for what? How to think for what? Further. Awareness. Awareness. Aware then after awareness for what? Live a life. Of significant to others, almost there. Huh? Wisdom. Wisdom. Have so much wisdom for what? Hey, look at today's gospel, lah. Today is talking about love. Actually, we learn so much. We being educated so much is to become a better person or to become more human. Have you heard this word, ah? Kurang aja. What does it mean? Ah, Hokkien say bo ta che. Bo ka si. Kurang aja bo ka si. Sometimes I heard ah, eh, ini dia lang bo ta che. What does it mean? Bo ta che. Kurang aja. Means ah, that person ah, don't know how to behave lah. As human, right? Eh, it's real, no? Today, many people very high educated ah, but they do not know how to behave as human. They still kurang aja. They don't know how to treat the elderly people. They very rude, greedy. All these things. You know, when we are at the school time, ah, we have been taught a lot of virtue. You know, primary school. Still remember your primary school syllabus? English school. I I'm not sure lah. I from a Chinese school. We got a lot of lessons, all stories ah about Lincoln lah. Sorry about this lah, that lah. All virtue. So no matter what you learn, is for us to be more civilized. Or people say you are not civilized. What does it mean? So are we really educated? Are we really human? Today the gospel start from a question from a lawyer. Lawyer, how many lawyer here? The gospel said there was a lawyer who disconcert Jesus and stood up, said to him. The lawyer asked the question, Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? You know, the lawyer is a person that very educated. You study all the laws before study all the laws. You must go to certain degree. Then only you can study law, right? Study so much. Very educated person, and he asked Jesus, and he desire for eternal life. Yes, good. We all desire for goodness, for eternal life, for happiness. Desire to become more human. And then he asked this question, and Jesus answer him. Jesus answer a lawyer by putting back a question: What is written in the law? Because the lawyer is so good in law, you know. Then Jesus asked him back: What is written in the law? Because you know so much about the law, so now you ask me, I ask you back, and then. He replied, "You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself." And this is sum up. Jesus said, "Ah, this is sum up the prophets and the law, right?" So you study so much, ah. Actually, at the end, you need this. If you do not have this, what you study, what you learn, rubbish, right? So you know, in our life, we got a lot of laws. Small L, but the big L is this: love your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. This is the big L. But sometimes we substitute with a lot of small L, and we make the small L, the small law, become 
big L and that is the problem you know we have a lot of law small L in our life no matter you are in social life in our country you know country got laws but not all the laws are good one no some are unjust it's not just injustice some law is just to fit someone preference on it so even in our office working place also got laws rules and regulation all these are laws in the church sometimes priests make a lot of laws right different parish priests make different laws <laughs> so called and uh, that's why we need to be very careful about all this but all the laws behind there is a purpose behind the law so my brothers and sisters we make laws to our children as well huh? cannot do this cannot do that different family different culture we have our own laws but the very primary very basic important things is at the bottom of the law you must have love love law without love sure got problem all laws must serve the love that means all the laws must serve god in our family you know we tell our children cannot do this cannot do that we set a lot of laws and our children follow very obedience why why huh because they experience love first when they were young they were infant they were baby they do not know what is the law they only know what is love you give them love you take care of them you protect them you take care of them day and night sacrifice everything for them they know they experience that you feed them right you give them the comfort sense of security all this they have been experienced that before they come to the first no you say huh? parents almost like come to your children about they know where to look for things ah huh? you that then you say no so education so love come first love come first therefore they follow and then after that until a time that they do not know they also lost already then they start experience that eh, why our parents are not consistent one <laughs> what they say it seems like not what they do then they start to tell you no also my brothers and sisters no matter you are parents you are children don't forget these things behind everything is love a lot of trust there love will bring trust because you love your children therefore your children trust you and i would like to tell all young people don't forget the trust that you have given to your parents because you experience their love don't think when you know how to think you have been exposed to more things then you know more then you know how to think more you think you are more wisdom then you start to judge your parents don't forget there's a bottom line something there your parents love you no matter what they seems like not consistent but the bottom line is they love you therefore you still need to respect them today a lot of young people they very frustrated with their parents no? when young people come to me or during confession a lot of this discernment about this anger they don't know how to they root to their parents all this thing love must be inside don't forget that so today the whole gospel is telling us something the dynamic there if you lose that dynamic you know the gravity in our life the, what is the gravity is love the gravity of our life should be love if you lose that gravity you lose the order in life the relationship with others you lose so today the gospel it tells us that we have these three character in us the levite the priest and the good samaritan sometimes we like the levites and the priests you know we just don't care but the good samaritan is the one in us who have that compassion the love the gravity is still there draw us to the source of love which is god once we lose that we lose the connection with god we lose the connection with each other who are these priests and levites they are educated people priests those times the priests also need to study all the laws the torah the levites also the levites is a tribe that only the tribes out of the 12 do not inherit land because they are the consecrated people like priests you know we have to keep the vow all this these people it seems like very holy holy people but they only concern about what they want only concern about the small law small l 
Why? Because they are priests, they need to do worship, they need to do sacrifice, they need to go to the temple. They just came back from Jerusalem to Jericho. On the way, they saw all this. It seems like a dead body. They cannot go and touch the dead body. Once they touch the dead body, they become unclean. So they keep the law. Yes, they don't want to become unclean. They keep the small law rather than to practice the big law. The big law is love your neighbor. And today the first reading is saying that the law is not far away, it's not in heaven. You don't need to wonder about who going to go up to heaven and bring down. It's not at the sea. You do not need people go to the sea, cross the sea and take the law, come back for you. And God said, the law is written in your heart, it's on your mouth. That means uh, it's in us. Sometimes we see something we need to love, you need to love. You need to respond to that. We need to respond. We all know one. The big L, uh, actually no need to study one. No? Study too much sometimes, uh, we lost the big L. Right? Today, more educated people, it seems like, become more greedy. Uh. When humans become more civilized, we start to grab more things. You see our world, how civilized today, but compared to 2,000 years ago when Jesus' time, how we use the resources, how we deprive the nature. So my brothers and sisters, so love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, which means we love God with our body, soul, and spirit. And love your neighbor, don't forget to love yourself. Many people do not know how to love ourselves. So no matter how educated you are, many people also facing a lot of depressions, a lot of sickness, a lot of suffering, pain from relationship. So we need to come back to the source of love, which is God himself can heal us, can put us back into this gravity of love. Amen.